The BRICS group of major emerging economies, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, will hold its 15th Heads of State and Government Summit in Johannesburg next week. It will be the first in-person BRICS summit since the COVID-19 pandemic. Let's now cross to our reporter, Katla Kholokhod, who's out at the Galaga Convention Centre in Midrand, where the summit is going to be held. Katla a very good morning to you. Uh, unpack for us what we can expect at the uh, summit today. A very good morning to you, Lebu, and to our viewers at home. Today, of course, uh, marking day one of the BRICS Business Council in the lead-up to the main event in the coming week. Uh, this is where we see various work streams just uh, coming under sharp focus, uh, just discussing high-level uh, discussions in terms of areas of collaboration, areas of trade, just putting business and the economy at the center of this BRICS summit. So we're expecting to see various issues come under uh, the spotlight here uh, today. We're expecting as well uh, to see Minister Ibrahim Patel just opening the trade fair later on today. Uh, but really, when you look at it, it's all hands on deck and really the ball is rolling in terms of the lead up to the main BRICS summit. It's already a hive of activity here at the Galaga Convention Center. Uh, coming to you live just out Outside the Nelson Mandela Auditorium, and this is where we're going to be seeing that work stream uh, focusing on energy. But ours here is to be looking at issues of infrastructure and issues of energy. Just remembering as well, there, Lebu, that these discussions started about six months ago in the lead up to where we are today. They're expected to be coming through with a report. I'm not alone here at the Galaga Convention Center. I have the economics editor of the SABC, uh, this being Mr. Tepo Mungwai, who joins me now here outside the Nelson Mandela Auditorium to just speak about what we can expect outside of this BRICS Council here uh, today. We know very well that really discussions have been underway as we speak right now. It's already a hive of activity. We're expecting the program to get underway any time uh, from now. Maybe just let us in on how important is it uh, that we have this BRICS Business Council in the lead-up to the main event. Welcome to the SABC. Thank you very much, Katlaho. Uh, basically, the, the BRICS uh, Business Council, it's very it's essential in terms of driving uh, policy discussions and uh, raising issues. So as you pointed out, there are various work streams. Uh, you have manufacturing. That's where uh, leaders in the manufacturing industry across the BRICS nations, they would sit down, look at the real issues that affect the manufacturing, how they harness uh, um, manufacturing activities, but not just only in their respective countries, but also across uh, and among the BRICS countries. So they've been hard at work in ensuring that there are discussions, uh, and those eventually, those discussions will culminate in what is the uh, BRICS business forum that will take place on the 22nd, where there will also be a report back uh, to the heads of states. And that will in, in essentially guide the, head, the heads of states and the relevant ministers who will then be able to to ensure that uh, those issues become um, are, are translated into policies uh, and, and they are implemented. Um, we have also aviation. There will be issues uh, in aviation that will be raised, would have been discussed, uh, and the relevant minister would have been uh, also part of those discussions. Uh, and the key industry players will be part of those negotiations uh, to ensure that indeed um, there is collaboration but also the policies that are adopted across the countries uh, actually allow cooperation among the BRICS nations. Uh, what's also very interesting Katleho, is the uh, Africa continental free trade area. It's an issue that is really gaining a lot of traction in these uh, discussions. Africa is yet about um, 19 uh, uh, countries, African countries that are exhibiting here at the uh, Galaga Estate and several other African countries and South Africa is saying we're not alone in this. We want to bring in the rest of the African countries uh, as they speak issues of trade with the BRICS nations but they also say we're representing the broader uh, African countries. Uh, another important thing is uh, the reinsurance 
the banking sector at the center of these discussions. Remember, because of sanctions that Russia uh, is suffering, it's been posed with sanctions, and um, they are the, the movement of goods and services uh, across uh, in terms of trade that they are doing is being affected. So the, the, the BRICS nations, they are coming up with an alternative because um, Americans and the European countries actually are the leaders when it comes to the area of reinsurance uh, of cargo when it comes to trade. So they want to establish their own uh, uh, insurance uh, uh, industry so that they can be able to deal with the issue of, of reinsurance, especially when it comes to, comes to cargo. Tsepo Mongwai, our economics editor uh, here at the Galaga Convention Center, just uh, laying it out for us ahead of the discussions, high-level discussions that will get underway any time from now here. We're looking for comprehensive solutions, not just for South Africa, but for the BRICS block. We have India, we have Russia, we have Brazil, we have China, and all of those who just be here to try by all means to see how best they can get uh, just issues out, ventilate issues out that will safeguard the economies of this block going forward. Africa Free Continental Trade Area, Tsepo mentioning there, very, very important. And all of those discussions will get underway throughout the day here with the various heads of states or ministers really expected to form part of these discussions here today. Lebu? Thank you so much. They will cross to you again uh, at around 9 o'clock covering the BRICS Summit in Madrid and in Galagor Estate.